State Security Minister Kemba Mahadi on Saturday said San UPF had dumped President Robert Mugabe for surrounding himself with anti-revolutionaries and criminals. By staff reporter he said the military intervention was meant to neutralize Mugabe's grip on power and rid government of the dirty elements. Mohadi was speaking to village leadership gathered for an environmental impact assessment meeting of the Bike Bridge Colliery at Chaturapasi in his Bike Bridge East constituency. We are no longer with him. We parted ways with him, Mugabe. I didn't know if you have heard what is happening in Harare, but we are not with him anymore. Initially, the army wanted to remove dirty people around Mugabe, but he was stubborn. Mahati, who was part of the negotiating team for Mugabe's exit talks facilitated by Sadkin South African President Jacob Zuma's envoys, said. Everyone was subjected to the military scrutiny, and I was vetted by the army when I returned from Mozambique. They sat me down at the airport while they checked my background before clearing me. We must let them. Army did their work. Mahati heads the Central Intelligence Organization, CIO, which is widely believed to be at the core of Mugabe's security team. His comments came amid reports that all CIO operatives had been ordered to cooperate with the military and surrender official vehicles to their respective stations until the Army's operation was over. The Zimbabwe Defense Forces, led by General Constantino Chuenga, last week led a well-coordinated military intervention which is pushing Mugabe to step down after 37 years of interrupted rule. It is not correct to say they, military, staged a coup because Mugabe continued his role as president, Mahati said, adding that he once jointly owned a bike bridge coal claim with Mugabe. He said the special grant to exploit coal fields at Chattapita village, 100 km east bike bridge, was once given to Kemro, Kembo and Robert, a company owned by him and Mugabe, but was separated by an unnamed mines minister. A new pharaoh who did not know Moses came and separated the grant, leaving me with 40,000 hectares which we are starting to exploit, he told villagers keen to know their benefits. Mohadi, who earlier toured the mine and an area for the proposed new border post, said revenue from the mine would be used to build a new border post and bridge between South Africa and Zimbabwe. We have agreed with our South African colleagues who are also building another town on their side. Many jobs will be created, and the development is yours. This is much of legacy, my legacy. I don't need money anymore, I am old and want to leave a name. An official at Bike Bridge Colliery, Rodwell Camurillo, said the mine would create 5000 direct and 5000 downstream jobs. Camurillo said coal exports will be through South Africa, adding the projected output was 300000 tons per month, with each ton generating at least $165. We will build Kembo Mahati City, a border post and a bridge with the same name, and we are starting to clear the ground for Kembo Mahati Regional Airport. Before we build the bridge, we will take coal across through a conveyor belt to be built across the Limpopo River. He added that Bike Bridge Colliery will also build a highway alongside Limpopo River to Bike Bridge Town. The acting mine manager at the plant, both well and due, said they were 8 meters away from the coal bench and the quality of the coal was good.